Hello friends. All right, four tips that are going to help you for cooking for any holidays or events that's going to make it a lot smoother. Number one, set your table ahead of time. The last thing you want to be doing is setting your table when you're wrapping up all the different things that are cooking on the stove and plating all the food. So do that ahead of time. And not only that, you're going to be able to take your time and it'll be a lot more peaceful experience and more fun. And you'll have the time to add in the extra little components, dec decorative components. If you are gonna have someone else set the table for you, then I suggest getting all the cutlery, all the plates ahead of time and put them on the side so it's already there for them to grab and set the table rather than them coming in the kitchen trying to get it in the cupboards into the drawers and getting it it'll just keep the space in the kitchen a lot more spacious and without any distractions and people getting in the way step number two if you're the type of person when you're cooking especially for a lot of people and you like your kitchen no one in it let people know that ahead of time so if they need to grab anything they can go ahead and do that beforehand but not only that then you're not feeling flustered when people are coming in the kitchen when you're busy doing like 5,000 things in there especially if you've got kids my nieces and nephews they love to watch me cook and usually I'm very interactive with them uh, when cooking however when it's a big holiday event and I've, I'm cooking for a large large number of people it's a different situation I don't have the time to do that and I need everybody to be clear out of the way and so having that conversation with them ahead of time like I know you love to watch me cook which is great I love that but today's gonna be a little bit different and it's gonna be busy so let's keep our conversations and save it for dinner time and right now I'm gonna be very focused doing my thing step three let go surrender because even though people know that you don't like people in the kitchen when things are getting really busy and chaotic and there's a lot of hot foods and hot pots going on around there's still always going to be one person that probably still comes in all the time and i can tell you my family it's always my dad he always comes in at the most opportune like not great time let's put it that way so trying to be chill about that go with the flow let's remember we're cooking to have a good time to connect with family and to have a good meal together so remembering that as well step number four have all the dishes you're going to be serving your meals on ready ahead of time and if you need to get really organized because you've got a lot of dishes going on use um posted posted notes and stick it on the outside don't put it on inside the bowl because why would you put that on the inside of the bowl where you're going to put food in there after so put it on the outside of the bowl and you have it all labeled like the mashed potatoes the salad this and that and it's already you're not scrounging going through all the cupboards trying to find them or even having to wash them because maybe the person before didn't wash them properly so have that all neatly organized ahead of time and i'm going to add in a fifth one as well if you have someone that's going to be helping you and you're delegating try to find a space where they can work on that that's not going to be right in your area of like where you're going to be moving around quickly like to get to the stove and the counter so if you have another kitchen table or a bar island table set them up in their own space where they're able to help out and do whatever it is that you're delegating the more organized you are and the more things that you can get done ahead of time that you end up doing ahead of time is going to make your experience a lot smoother and when your experience is a lot smoother then you're showing up in a way better mood and so focusing on what the priorities are what can be done ahead of time what can clear up space and what's going to be best for you especially when you know your own style and how you like to do things when you're the one that's cooking and doing everything and let's all remember we want to have fun